spotlight on the sugar sector. The government is mulling hike in ethanol prices. Do note, ethanol prices are not hiked since 2023-2023. Ethanol supplier and MSCP has remained unchanged since Feb 2019 at 31 rupees per kg. To discuss this and a lot more, Atul Chaturvedi, the executive chairman at Sri Renuka Sugars, is joining us now. Mr. Chaturvedi, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, you know, earlier government lifted restrictions on ethanol production. Now the buzz is that there could be an increase in ethanol prices. What are the expectations with respect to price hikes here? No, we are expecting the moon. In fact, last year in December, when the government banned the uh, making of ethanol from cane juice and bee heavy molasses, it actually came as a bolt from the blue. And in fact, recently, about a month or so back, that the government came up with the notification that uh, now the ban has been lifted. So we were expecting uh, some kind of an action to happen as far as price revision and opening up of uh, uh, this uh, cane juice ethanol is concerned. And in fact, the other day at the ISMA conference, I was also there, the minister actually said that uh, they are seriously working on this and uh, we can hope to have some uh, price revision coming right. before the start of the crushing season. We are expecting so, that. Yeah. So how much are you expecting this revision to be and what could the resultant impact on your revenue and margin be uh, uh, because of this revision? No, I would say that we don't know what the revision would be, but the demand of the industry has been that uh, there's no reason why uh, ethanol made from maize be purchased at close to 72 rupees and from cane juice, which has a, a pretty good ecosystem in place, and which had been at the forefront of uh, this ethanol campaign, why should it remain at 60 rupees for B heavy and about 65 for? So what we are expecting is it should be closer to about 72 or closer to about where uh, maize ethanol is. But uh, we still <laughs> don't know what the number would be. And in terms, of, in, yeah, in terms of uh, the impact on our revenues, I will just share with you that last year was a disaster in terms of uh, distillery capacity utilization. A normal utilization is in the region of about 20 crore liters, but last year was a disaster. It was about just about four crore liters or thereabouts. So I think uh, this is news. This news, if and when it comes, is going to be mana from the heaven as far as we are okay. concerned. Yeah. Okay, so four crore liters is what you did last year. Uh, then what is the target for this year, Mr. Chaturvedi? How has the ramp up been in ethanol production? Uh, the earlier indication was 20 crore plus liter production this year. Uh, is the is that on track? No, I'm sure we should be in a position to uh, utilize our capacity to the extent 100% or more. And uh, if and when the government comes up with this uh, uh, revision in prices, which we are expecting should be there in the first week of October because the crushing season is going to start mm. in the later part of October. So I think it should be coming now. And there's no reason why we should not be in a position to uh, fully utilize our capacity, which is close to about 1250 kiloliters. And when we are running on juice, it actually becomes something like 13 to 1400 kL per day. So, you know, if we get that math right, say, assume this, uh, you know, closer to 70 sort of uh, revision comes by in October itself. Uh, your target for this year is 20 crore litres. Um, assuming you've done about 10 in the first half of this year already, you are left with around another 10 to do in the remainder of this year. So, 10 into 12 would give you an additional revenue of 120 crores, 100 to 120 crores. Would that be a correct way to assess this? I won't say that would be the correct way to assess it. In fact, the revenue would depend on how much of the uh, ethanol is actually physically moved out because that alone is going to impact our uh, sales. But on a rough basis, uh, our contribution from ethanol, we expect to be about 40% uh, of our total revenue. And uh, our revenue is streamless from two sources. One is the uh, ex, uh, port based refineries and the other is the crushing plant. What I'm giving you number or rough number is 
from the crushing plant. The export from refineries is a separate subject altogether. Yeah. Okay. Okay, all right, Mr. Chaturvedi, uh, we get that point. Thank you so much for joining in with your insights as always and telling us what to expect when it comes to ethanol price hike and a lot more with the company as well. We'll slip into a short break. Up next, we'll focus on Z Media. That stock has been up, up and away. This is our mid-cap spotlight segment. We'll tell you all about what's happening here. Stay tuned.